Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a light pink to purple prom look. It's been requested absolutely ages ago and I'm just about catching up with everything. There's loads of looks coming up, I promise you. And I'm sorry I haven't been on for a while either. But we're going to catch up so don't worry. First I'm going to have, have applied, where is it? Lemonade by Benefit. And it's just a, a light base for your eyelids. If you put my shadow on. Alternative to that you could use Max Prep and Prime Barry M Shimmer and Eye Lip Crayon or Urban Decay Primer Potion. So that's that. Now I'm going to apply first. I'm going to be just using this kit. Dead cheap on eBay. I'll put some links up for you. And we're going to be using to base it off this nice colour here on the corner. It's a nice vanilla -y kind of colour. I'm just going to apply that all over the eyelid. Sorry, the eyebrow area. Because we're going to be coming down over. Just using a small brush out of the brush set, the pink one. And it's a nice soft pink and purple prom look that we're looking for here. So once you fill that whole area in up here, you're not touching the lid yet. I'll try and get further in for you. There you go. I look bloody awful up close. <laughs> oh, right, off we go. So we'll start again on that side. Hiya. Hiya. I'm on camera mind. What? I'm on camera mind. Okay. So you're carrying on with your vanilla colour and you're just bringing it up into the eyebrow bone. from the inside of your eye and your nose so it's really light you'll get your photos at the end you'll see it all now we're going to apply a beautiful pink it's that one there it's a light shimmery pink get a bigger brush to apply this with I'm going to even dampen this one. I'm going to get a damp, a wet wipe, and we're going to apply a little bit damp with a big, bigger eye, eye shadow brush. That's dark, and just apply the pink all over our eyelid. Doesn't matter what order, providing you get the whole lot covered up to your crease. I don't really like pinks. They don't suit me very much with my my eyes. I don't know why. Make us look like I've been crying, but. Do you know this pink's actually quite nice and I could probably get away with it myself? When you've got the pink on, I'm just going to... I'm sorry, my lightning here is disgusting. Mm. Carry on with your pink. And you just want to apply it, oh, get out the way, all over. And blend it up into that white vanilla that we put on. It's all very light and it's not picking up very well on the camera and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm working on lighting and stuff so it's all going to get sorted. I'm going to come on one day, not be long from now, and everything will be back to normal and you can see better. Because the lighting's really getting me down in here. So just applying it just past the crease and blending it in with that vanilla you put on. It's a nice soft look. Because I usually go for vibrant bright colours but it's a soft look for a change. Now with this big brush, seen it? It's like a circular, nice for crease, but a bit big, but I could do with a little bit smaller, but never mind. I'm gonna take, let's see, I think we'll have that purple lay. I'm just gonna take that purple. Looks blue on the camera, but it's not purple. Just going to take a little bit and you're just going to, it's not even focused. And you're just going to dab it on the outer corner and you're going to bring it up and rub it over the pink just to darken the outer bit. And again
same on the last side. Now these palettes are usually very pigmented but I've got to admit I'm not getting much joy tonight. I don't know why but they're just they're just not going how I'd want them to. I don't know if it's because of the colours I'm using because the greens and the yellows and the golds are fine but these pinks and purples you could probably use a different brand. I don't think you should use the palette for pinks and purples unless it's just my eyes. It's just not working tonight. But we'll keep carrying on. Trying to darken the corner out, but it's just not happening very well. See, it's very faint. Still trying to keep putting more on about to get there in the end don't we because I've started with it so we're going to finish mainly just to give you an idea of where to place your colours for a nice sweet pink and purple prom look but I wouldn't advise using the pinks and the purples out of these palettes because they're not working tonight for some reason now where we've got we're going to use the liner brush if I can find it it was here there it is dampen it on your wet wipe And take a darker purple. I think we're going to use this one right at the bottom, dark purple. And we're going to just line my eyes with that along the lower lash line. Now my eyes are a bit pooey tonight because I've just done three tutorials, and they're going to be going up. And there's going to be five tutorials, brand new on the Barry M website probably by Monday so there's something for to check out if you want in the meantime but I've got a great clear week ahead so I'm going to be on here quite a lot this week catching up on some videos for YouTube so expect a good few expect a good few this week I'm happy to see and we've probably already said that but the camera cut out you just line on your lower lash line with that purple it's quite soft and nice not too much a little bit more on this side then once you've done that you're going to dip the liner brush again damp into your black doing it all from one palette tonight because everything is in my college bag and stored away until I can find it and I don't know if it's downstairs upstairs or what but I've got masses of products up here which I kind of get I can't see through to be honest I sort through it so I'm gonna to have to just leave the others for now so you just line an outer corner that sorry the, from off and straight out and give it a little bit of a tick you don't want too much because it's meant to be a nice soft look and again on the other side halfway across your eye Now you can go the full way across if you want, it's entirely up to you, but I tend to find that if I do, I end up looking like an owl, because anything dark on the inner corner of my eye just doesn't look right. So I always start from the outer corner, or at least halfway across. I'm just darkening it out now and giving it a bit more of a base. There you go, that'll do. Now take some mascara. And I'm just going to use this because it's handy, I don't know where all my stuff's gone. I really don't. I'm going to use this as Christian Dior, Dior Show. My foot's gone completely numb. Tip your head back and give the wand a wiggle. Right from your roots to your tip. And you want to get a nice amount of coat in here. So this brush is big. It's exciting when I've seen it. Because I got all excited thinking, get in, big brush, big effects. And I was slightly disappointed because it's clumpy as hell. So you only want a couple of coats max. 
and as you go just try and separate and pull them as much as possible because it, it's so clumpy and because it's so big and all I've always liked a big brush but you, you've got more tendency to catch the skin with the wand with the brush so and we, uh, we all know it's not a good thing just again on this side Now I've got tons of celebrity looks coming up <coughs> and also <coughs> foundation and like, the whole lot because we've got more times on my video now so I can get the foundation done, the blush, the contour, the highlight, you name it. We'll get it all done now which is really good and I've just took that away and I need it. Come back. Right. Where's that liner brush again? I'm going to use my lip brush. Damp again. The good thing about damp is it goes on better and pop, colour pops. And we're going to use, if I can find it, a nice ready pinky, uh, actually, we're going to use that one, that pink lay, and we're going to line my lips with that. So damp in your brush. And I don't know if you can, so don't take my word for it in case there's a manufacturer problem and you're not going to put it on your lip. But I pre presume if it's eye safe, it'll be lip safe, but don't take my word for it. Check it out. This is just a nice soft pink to line with. Then we're going to take this, which is Petting Pink Tinted Lip Conditioner by MAC. Same brush, because there's not much colour on it. And just dip it in. And that just gives a beautiful sheen and brings all the colour together. Now, quickly for some blush. I did have some spray. Where is it? That's not it. Bunny by Paula Dorf. I love the powders and the creams by Paula Dorf. And where's my brush? Ta da! I'm just going to give it a bit of a wiggle. Ooh, loads of powder come off there. Can I see it? And then just give it a nice, gentle swoosh under that cheekbone area. You don't want it to go too high up because it'll clash with the pinks in your eyes. I found this out the other day, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to just go under, practically where at me, contour line is. Up and under. And there you have it. Where's the lid? God, I'll get there in a minute. Right, there you go. You've got pink and purple and a bit of vanilla nice sweet prom look and I hope you really enjoyed it. Zoom zoom!